Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can calculate the path instead of drawing the path so that the information to the AI car comes from the street itself instead of drawing the path. The first thing we have to change is the AI car itself. So we go to the AI car and we have to change the way the we calculate the path. So we go to the active path that we known from the last tutorials and we have to change this from path to spline component and this will be an object reference. We say change and of course now we have to delete this one and can directly connect the active path to these points here like that. We we'll compile and save this. We have to change a few things more so we go to the select path function and we didn't need this anymore so we can directly delete it. Of course we have to go here, delete this as well and now we are done. One thing is left, we go to the viewport and I would recommend to go to the driver enter and side enter box and make it a little bit smaller otherwise we get problems later with the overlapping events. So let's put this to 1, put this near to the core like that. That would be much better. Great. So we are done here so now we go to the streets itself. So this will be the straight street like that and now we need a few things here. So first of all we need a box collision, put it right here. Great. So now we have to make it a little bit bigger like that. Put it right here into the lane. So when you take a look on the road it will be in the lane of the car. So with the box we need a spline component like that and this is really pretty easy because we just have to draw this one time in just the lane itself. So we put it to the end of the road like that. Be sure that it's in the middle like that and yeah great so and then we can just copy this one to box 2 put it to the other side of the road so the second lane in this case this will be spline 1 and also duplicate this one to spline 2 put it to the other side compile and save this and let's put this a little bit more up here, this one too. Great. So now the idea is that we go to the event graph, get from the box one the on component begin overlap event and as well for the box two. So now we just have to say cast to AI car in this case it is also a drivable car from the last tutorial as you know and we just connect it for both situations and now we just have to go from the icon and say set active path and as you remember the active path is now spline so we can just drag and drop the spline to the active path and as well copy and paste this down to here like that and in this case it is blind too. So what it does now is when it drive through the box 1 it will set the car to the spline 1 and on box 2 it will be set to spline 2. The good thing about that is when you take a look on the road here because we set it for one blueprint class 
edits copied automatically for the whole paths. So on every road there's now this functionality. So we just have to change a few things for this and now we go back to our AI core and we have to unplug this one and say is valid to be sure that we don't get an error message and only if it's valid so we add the parse it goes to return value. Compile and save this and now we just need one thing left. Begin play and now we just take our driving function here and just call it. So this will be the spawn. So let's see. When we have to play, they drive forward, take the roads And now it comes to the spot right here and they follow the path. Great. So now we just have to copy this. So we go back to the streets, open it up. And pretty easy right here. We just have to copy and paste this for the other side of the road. So I skipped the copy and paste procedure. So just be sure that you already copied the overlap events as well. And now we just, as you can see, go to the highway and both lanes are defined. Great, so now let's come to the crossroad right here because it's a little bit different. So the idea is when it comes to the crossroads he has two options that he can drive straight through or that he make a curve and drive to the other side. So let's open up our crossroad. It's pretty simple. It's just a plan with the texture of the road. And what we have to do now is pretty the same thing. We go here and say box collision this will be a little bit smaller, of course. This will be the trigger. Take a look here, like that. Doesn't matter where you start. Just be sure that is in the middle of the lane. So let's start with this one here like that and then be sure that it's a little bit by side of the road as you can see then it's triggered as well as this one great so and now we just have to create a spline as well around here like that so this will be the drive through option and now we can easily copy and paste this so I skip the copy process and now it looks like this so we have box 1 lane 1 as you can see box 2, lane 2 and this is for all four ways to go to the crossroad. So now the functions are a little bit different so this is the result but now we go from box 1 as well and say on component begin overlap and the function is pretty similar so cars to AI car but now we have two situations, so we need to switch on integer. In this case, connect this one, go from the AI core and say set active path as well as before. Now add a pin, another one, so the zero and the default goes inside here copy and paste this and the one goes here 
and as well connect the AI car with the target. So we need a random integer for this one. Connect this with a selection and put this to 2 because we have two options and the maximum value is always minus 1. So now we take our lane 1, this will be the default case and now we have to take a look. So he hit the box 1 and in default case he drives the lane 1. But I want that he is able to make a curve, so make a turn here right here. So this will be in this case line 3, so th that he goes this way. So let's take line 3 to the active pass in the second condition. So now we just have to copy and paste this as well for the other situations. So always the idea is, let's say when you hit this, there are two options to drive to lane 2 in this case or you make a turn to the right. So this will be then, if, if you can take a look, uh, line 8. Yeah, you can do it whatever you want, but this is my solution for this. So let's copy this. So now that's is a result and let's see how it works. So when we hit play, all cars drove through the lane and when they came to the crossroads they have two options to make a turn like that or to drive straight and this is always random so you can't know what happens next great so, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.